sorry guys, it's been a bit since I've uploaded. I just have gotten back from vacation. Well, in this video, we are going to play the extra level Rising Tide. What does that sound? And I see you guys are really liking Empire of the Underground. So, how does this sound? Uh, never mind. Um, you guys are liking it more than Minecraft, so I might stop doing Minecraft. If you think I should keep going on Minecraft, then um, tell me in the comments. But let's jump right in to Rising Tide. We're going to pick the Rapid Fire. Here we go. Oh, this level is very, very stressful. This Formica Rufa wood ant queen has laid her first brood in a burrow near the sea. Now we need to be fast. Her nest is just on the outskirts of the beach, the perfect vantage point for scavenging hapless morsels washed in by the tide. At the moment, the tide is out, but it won't stay that way. I don't know if this is a glitch, the ants but must they make get, haste like, and stockpile what they can ants? while they can. Which doesn't make sense. They're two completely different species. It might be a glitch. But I don't know. But I think I might stop doing Minecraft. Alright, well, let's get to the outside. There is food to be found all over the beach. But the wood ants must be cautious and choose their trails carefully. Tiger beetles frequent the higher ground, and they will make quick work of any wood ant that strays too close. There are other wood ants out here. They have also come to take advantage of the buffet provided by the sea. Territorial disputes will invariably favor the colony with the greater numbers. Thank you. 
some more food. Run, 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 run. The tide is coming in. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. Any ants caught in the surge will be washed out to sea. The ants must defend themselves. I can't believe you guys like Empire of the Underground so much, even though lots of other YouTubers watch it. Water is rising quickly. The ants must head for higher ground. The 
tide has almost reached its highest point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. is in, and soon night will fall. As the temperature drops outside, nocturnal creatures begin to awaken. It would be wise for the Rufa colony to stay underground, oh and hope that their slow. nest Why remains hidden so until the morning. He's so speedy! Overground, nocturnal hermit crabs rule over the sands at night. These creatures are typically scavengers, searching for algae and carrion on the beach. But due to the unusual incursion of Formica Rufa colonies into this area, this particular community of crabs has developed a taste for ant flesh. A hermit crab has found its way into the nest. The ants must mount a swift and decisive defense. Intruders in the nest. Oh, there's two hermit crabs uh, on their way in. This is a dog. A group of hermit crabs have stormed the nest. The larvae must be protected. Storm? Thank you. 
have found the nest. The tide is receding and a new day dawns. The hunters of the night return to the safety of the shadows, and the ants can begin to lay down new trails. The harvest must go on. have been spotted by Chichindala dorsalis, the beach tiger beetle. With its long slender legs, it's the king of speed on these intertidal flats. Its wide carving jaws will slice effortlessly through squads of wood ants. It's going to take a monumental unified effort to bring this beast down. <laughs> The huge 
Tiger Beetle has been defeated. There are many more of them, but this is a milestone moment for the colony. They cannot be bullied by sheer size alone. Coming in. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. Any ants caught in the surge will be washed out to sea. The colony 
is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. is rising quickly. The ants must head for higher ground. has almost reached its highest point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. Another creature roaming the sands tonight, Arctosa littoralis, the beach wolf spider. In the day, these spiders retreat to the shade provided by larger plants on the edge of the beach. But once the sun is gone, they are far more active and on the hunt for a midnight feast. spider has found the nest entrance. She is only small, but her venom will quickly incapacitate any ant that tries to fight alone.
gets larger. Another wolf spider has entered the nest. This one is large, fast, and voracious. And now it's also good. It's voracious. Spiders have found the nest. The ants must protect the queen. As the sun rises over a new day, the tide recedes. The nocturnal creatures return to the shadows, and once again, the harvest must continue. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood.
the battle has begun. Thank you. 
colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. The tide is coming in. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. Any ants caught in the surge will be washed out to sea. Quickly, the ants must head for higher ground. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Tide has almost reached its highest point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. Tide is in, and soon night will fall. As the temperature drops outside, nocturnal creatures begin to awaken. It would be wise for the Rufa colony to stay underground, and hope that their nest remains hidden until the morning. Spider has found a nest.
More hermit crabs have found the nest. A huge wolf spider has found the colony. This one is a mother, and her recently hatched brood have followed her into the nest. These ants are facing an overwhelming infestation. As the ants grow in number, the local predators pose less and less of a danger. Eventually they will be displaced from this area entirely. Despite the dangers of the beach, it seems this intrepid queen's gamble to establish her colony here has ultimately secured the success.
How is the colony progressing? The Queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. Like this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. You don't have to. If, if you want to, that's alright. You won't miss another video. And, and it helps out a lot. And leave a comment in the comment section down below. New replay next. Or another one. See you next time.